kingdom of the lands and or the the what is it hills and rivers or some shit like that welcome back ladies and gentlemen to crusader kings 2 this is the stannis the menace series and we're back with our man the chosen of the light there's also been the chosen of the flu apparently king stannis of the iron throne we have captured the iron throne and we've successfully taken from the usurpers what is rightfully ours unfortunately there are a few people who are still not quite happy with the <laughs> with our uh, assuming of the, the 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 iron throne we have king aegon the another self-appointed usurper who is being supported by house martell enemies of uh of the iron throne and stannis baratheon we will cast them down in time but we also have the westerlands led by cersei lannister who is trying to gain independence and unfortunately, well, she's trying to gain independence because she refuses to let Stannis, she refuses to bend the knee. Probably because we um <clears throat> may have uh, burnt uh, Tommen alive as an offering to R'hllor. She knew the risks. She knew the risks. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. And you will die. She has a sword. What sword is that? She has Robert's Warhammer. We need that. She has everything. We need to kill her and take all this shit. I'm not sure how we can. If we can take her prisoner, that's probably what we'll, uh... If we win, what happens? Is imprisoned by... Yes, if, she, if she's imprisoned by us, we can take all of her stuff. How did Tyrion die? Oh, he was assassinated. Interesting. Was slain by Thoros of Mir during a trial by combat. Oh, very cool. We still have Marcella Waters as our prisoner. And Cersei, uh... Cersei may have, um... She may have declared war on us, knowing full well that we would probably kill Marcella anyway, so I'm not really sure if it would be worthwhile to kill the young girl. Maybe, maybe not. But her heir is also imprisoned by us. So we could actually probably kill... You know what we should probably do? We should probably just kill all the Lannisters. In all honesty, that's what we probably should do. Probably would be the safest thing to do. We should probably just kill everybody. Just kill them all. Request a coronation. Move capital to King's Landing. Mm, we could do that, but I like Storm's End. Why does it say Parchments? Ah, because um, my capital is in parchments for some silly ass reason. Let's see. You know what? We probably should move the capital to King's Landing. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and start by doing that. We'll move this to King's Landing. Excellent. Um, now then, we have a lot of titles we have to give out, and we're way over the vassal limit, which is going to make everybody hate us. So, as as you guys suggest, we are we are. Oh god, we have so many titles. Seven Kingdoms, all right. Kingdom of the Stormlands, High Lordship of, of, of Parchments, and the Kingdom of the Trident. Right, so you guys suggested a few things. You, suge you suggested giving Storm's End to Davos. Davos Seaworth. Problem is, I don't know where Davos is. Oh, here he is. Lord Davos the Onion Knight. And he hates us because too many held High Lordships. All right, wants control of the Lordship of Rain House. Blue Grove desires the Kingdom of the Stormlands. Well, you know what, sir? The comment section have spoken, and they deem you worthy. No longer let yourself be depressed. Oh, wow, he's got a lot of kids. He's got a lot of kids. Because I will grant you the kingdom of the Stormlands. He better not become independent. Before I give that to him, I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure Stormlands convert. No. Or destroy. We're not going to destroy it. Certainly not going to destroy it. Anyways, find me my hand of the king. For reward for your services, Lord Davos, I shall give you the Stormlands. I name you one of the most powerful lords in the Seven Kingdoms with a single stroke of my pen. Oh, now he's very defending versus foreigners. Oh, now he loves us. Loyal servant. Excellent. The Onion Knight now rules the uh, Stormlands. Excellent. Um, speaking of the Onion Knight, where else do you... You have Castle of Rainwood. Okay. And it seems you also have the High Lordship of, of Rainwood. All right. Um, would you like parchments? Well, hold on a second. What is the High Lordship of... Not Dragonstone. Shipbreaker Bay, is it? I think it's Shipbreaker Bay. There it is. High Lordship of Shipbreaker's Bay. So, we can give it to you, Swigert. We can give it to the Conningtons. Although, I think they're enemies. Adderdale, Wagstaff. Is uh, House Morgan a part of this? Maybe it is. Ah, it is! Mmm, House Morgan. They absolutely hate us. Deny the command. Ah, uh, well. Desires a high lordship of Bre Yeah, you know what? I think I might grant that to you because House Morgan has been loyal to us in other playthroughs, so we'll 
reward them again. We're Shipbreaker Bay. There it is. Bam. Okay, he's still kind of upset, but we're gonna give uh, we're gonna give away more of our high lordships, and we will we will desires the lordship of Storm's End. Yeah, but I want Storm's End. I mean, I also have King's Landing. Is it is it better for me to just have King's Landing? We should give Dr uh, Dragonstone to somebody because I'm tired of these levies being raised here and being fucking useless. So let's give. Um, who do want to give Dragonstone to? Where's Renly? Prince Laws. Oh, Renly's dead. Was murdered. All oh, right, we killed. We killed Renly. <laughs> okay, we killed him. Um, we could give it to our son. I don't really want to do that. Prince La Laws Coleman. Um, probably should make him an awesome fighter. Because that seems to be something I forget to do, is uh, to give my children guardians who are really, really good at fighting. So, first off, we're going to find someone who has got formidable. Formidable. Mance Raider. Hmm. He could. He could very well be a good person. You know what? He might also become a wildling, though. Hmm. Let's, let's try it. Because Mance Raider is a formidable fighter, and that may be worthwhile for us. Maybe, maybe. All right, we got more high lord chips. We got to get rid of. Um, so our capital is going to be around King's Landing. I'm thinking maybe. What lordships, high lordships, do we have? Well, I don't need the Castle of Dragon Gate. That's for damn sure. So where is it? City of Flea Bottom, Castle of Dragon's Gate. Where is it? There it is. Create a new vassal. All right, there's one less. Now, let's look at some of these High Lordships. Lordship of Storm's End, the Red Fork. Oh, something else I need to do is we need to give the Riverlands to Horps. Horps. I'm not familiar with the house. I'm not familiar, but we will find it. Hor Horps? Horsp? Horps. P-E-S. No? Horp. House Horp. There it is. House Horp. Go back, go back, go back. I think... I think this is the house you guys are talking about. I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, he's already the ruler of Lordship of Lockport. He's a Stormlander, too. That doesn't really make sense. Hmm. Well, I mean, I suppose we could. I mean, but there's also all these other, like, real... The problem with having a Stormlander rule over the Riverlands is the Riverlanders aren't going to be happy about that. And it's only a matter of time before they revolt. Let's see, we've got House Root. We've got House Malister. We've got Derry, House Derry, which is uh, being ruled by uh, a Lannister at the moment, so we definitely can't give that to him. What about the... Oh, we also have River Run? Hmm. Did the Tullys... Re did the Tullys rebel? I have no idea. Where are the Tullys? Because I, for once, might actually want to ally with them. Tully. The Tullys. Edmure. Your, yep, Paramount Hoster Tully is gone. Let's see, title claimant, foreign religion. What if... Hmm. I don't know. Did we have a war with the Riverlanders and we cast him down? It doesn't say we did. It doesn't say we did. They don't hate us. Died a natural death. Let's see. Invite to court. No false religion. Where is he? Justiciar of the Westerlands, Lord of the Trident. I see. Um, oh, he's part of an enemy. Oh, he's joined with the enemies. Well, if he joined with the enemies, we can't do anything about that. We must reward our vassals who have remained loyal to us. House Canet. Um, Co yeah, House Cox, of course. Uh, what are you? House Vance and Lolliston and Blaine Tree. All these little different uh, Riverlander houses. House Bracken. Bracken is a pretty well-known house in the Riverlands. You already own High Lordship of South Stone. Oh, yeah. I mean, you guys are right next door. Might as well just give you River Run, too, right? We're Lordship of River Run. We'll make some of our some of our levies a bit more powerful than maybe they should be. High Lordship of South Stone. He has that, though. Yeah, he has that. Right. So we, need, we have more we have to give away. More we have to give away. Lordship of the Red Fork... Let's give this to the owner of the blue fork of the oh of the twins. Mmm. We shall grant you the red fork as well. Alright. And then we've got parchments down here. Who's here? House Trant. Mmm. 
not, not a fan of House Trant. Swigert. The Conningtons. Mm. How about... Oh, there's also Fellwood. House Fell. Let's give House Fell... I'd like to see House Fell uh, uh, take prominence in the future. So we'll give you the Lordship of Parchments. There we are. And now they hate us even more. Of course. Of course they do. They want something. Desires the High Lordship of Par Parchments. High Lordship of Parchments, which I actually do have. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead. You can have it. Ah, there we have it. Lord How How Howard. Harwood of Parchments of House Fell is now loyal to us. Great. Um, we also have Heron Hall. I don't want Heron Hall. Um, we give Harrow. Her Let's give Heron Hall to um, Butterwell, Lawlesden, Root, Good Goodbrook, Good Leicester, and Blaine Tree. I'll just give it to this guy. We'll also grant you Heron Hall. We don't need it. There you have it. And what else do we have? We have the, High, the Lordship of King's Landing, Storms, and Dragonstone, and the High Lordship of the Trident. Ah, House Vi Viprin. Viprin. This is a little uh, little frog there. Uh, there's House of the Twins. Yeah, probably makes sense to give this to the of the Twins. Even though, even though High Lordship of the Trident, even though he's 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 like incapable. What's wrong with him? He is bedridden from the flu, and he has a single daughter, Walder. Walda Rivers. That's okay. We'll give you the High Lordship of the Trident. Now he loves us. And then we have the High Lordship of... He's probably going to make Lord Jonos of uh, House Bracken a bit too powerful. We can also grant him the High Lordship of River Run. There you go. Now he's a powerful vassal. Yeah, look at all that territory this guy now controls. Very nice. Uh, yep, still have the High Lordship of Harrenhal. Oh, apparently it only includes these two. Interesting. House Vance or House Lawliston. House Lawliston seems to have a better progeny, so we'll pick you. There you are. You're now the High Lord of Hall. High Lordship. We're going to keep that. Kingdom of the Trident. We probably also need to... We will, we'll give that to somebody here soon. Um, Dragonstone. Who are we going to give Dragonstone to? Well, let's reward... Let's reward some of our commanders. Yeah, uh, a lot of this, our titles and stuff have been kind of decimated. Let's see, Jason, we'll pick you, and we will pick you, Carl. Let's see, we've got Mance Raider, who's been loyal to us. He's been loyal with us since the Wall. Sir has Sir Godry, Giant Slayer. I will grant you lands and titles. I will grant you Dragonstone, the Giant Slayer, and I will grant you the High Lordship of Dragonstone. Now he is a most loyal candidate. Excellent. Um, now what do we have left? We have just the Trident and Storm's End. I think we're going to hold on to Storm's End because that's kind of a... Uh, it's the ancestral house of uh, ancestral seat of House Baratheon. We'll, keep, we'll hold on to that. But we do need to get rid of the Kingdom of the Trident. I know somebody said give it to House Horps, but House Horp is a, a part of the Stormlanders down here, and it doesn't seem right to give them control of the trident so I think it'd be best to give control of the trident to a house that we can trust and it's and it's looking like we're gonna be able to trust house Bracken as the new lords of the Riverlands because I mean the other lords are like what this guy Lord Manfred the uh, second Lord Lord Carl of house Vance. he's not very loyal um, and then there's some dude who's incapable with the flu let's give it to house Bracken we will grant you the kingdom of the trident Kingdom of the Lands and or the the what is it Hills and Rivers or some shit like that. Lord Paramount Jonos of the Trident, and he will be of the utmost loyal, loyal stature. I mean, we've got the flu too. Hmm, maybe we should maybe we should take it easy for now. How many troops do we have? Five thousand. Let's get the timer going. Some your kin are unhappy. Blah 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 blah. Don't care. All right, Your Grace, I will honor my allegiance to take up arms to defend the realm. Excellent. Removing Lord Paramount Davos. I don't... Lord Paramount Davos, who unrightfully removed a counselor. Yeah, I know. What I didn't try to... Re well, I didn't remove him. You lie. Somebody removed him. No, you know what? I think giving him the Stormlands might have removed him. That's probably what it was. Ah, your grace. The Conclave sent a maester. Brilliant. So I can probably... Hmm. Let's go find someone who is more suitable to be our Hand of the King. Um, 
I don't think they actually have to have, have a name. Just joint court, yes. Diplomatic range, yes. Highest stewardship. He's got cancer, though. She's a female, unfortunately. Tycho, we'll invite Tycho. And then Ferrego might also be good. And then while we're at it, let's invite Victarion, even though I hate him. Uh, invite him. And then let's go for... Ooh, we'll pick Ben. Fantastic. And Lisono. Invite. And then someone with really good diplomacy. Let's invite this genius right here. That'll be good. And then let's get somebody. Let's get Erio. This crazy guy with his uh, insane level of learning. And then while we're at it, I want to find some people who are formidable fighters. Apparently there are none. Unfortunate. Great. So, the Craven Davos Seaworth has failed to answer my call to arms. Davos, you son of a bitch. So, I mean, it looked pretty hair. It looked pretty hairy at the beginning, but now it seems the Reach. Well, the Reach is, has all sorts of problems, but it seems the Reach has joined us in our war against Cersei of the West. The Riverlands are now with us, even though they're contributing, what, how many troops? Two thousand? Not a whole lot. They they're pretty spent from the war and all that. And then the Vale is also contributing six thousand men, and the North is contributing five thousand. How many men does uh, Cersei have? She's got. 8,000, so, so the West is pretty spent. The High Septon, and I think I think Aegon has 8,000 as well. So West Westeros is pretty spent from the War of uh, the Five Kings. Uh, but you know what? We'll we'll we 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 can we can handle that. We can handle that. Um, raise the rest of my men. Excellent, excellent. I can still raise men from Dragonstone for some for some reason. I'm not sure why. Not really sure why. Go ahead and march to King's Landing. We'll use this royal force along with Stannis. Mm. I don't think Stannis has to worry about dying from the flu. The Just King. Yep, we got a bunch of new people who are going to be joining us. Brilliant. Excellent. Only the best for King Stannis. Yep. All right, now let's go through here and appoint some of these people. We'll pick Tycho, Hand of the King. Master at Arms will be Godry, Lord of Dragon. You know what, Godry, you've done so well. We're going to have you stay in King's Landing and train my troops. All right, let's pick Ben. Is Ben here? No, Harlan's there. We'll wait for Ben to get here. We'll make him the Master of Whispers. Whisperers. Um, this guy wants to come to our... No. Nope. Do not need you. Is that Ben? That is Ben. And Victorian. Excellent. Kevan Lannister is currently under my control, and his rightful queen, Cersei Lannister, is currently opposing us. We can rightfully execute or imprison him as a warning to our enemies. Bring me his head. Burn him. Burn him. Has been sentenced to death, and you have commanded he be burned alive as a warning to your enemies. More sacrifices for the blood god. I mean, red god. That's what I mean. So that'll be great. That'll, be, that'll work out for us. Oh, let's get the timer. And we have Victarion now, so we got to add some people to... Uh, to our commander list. Where's Ben? Good old Ben. He seems like a uh, worthy sort. Let's see, get you out of here. We have uh, higher standards for our commanders. Okay, get you guys together. Um, let's go ahead and storm the Sept of Baylor, which apparently is protected by just eight men, and we're going to imprison the High Septon. Probably going to burn him too. In fact, can we do that right now? No, I guess we have to wait because he's imprisoned by. Yeah, why do we have to wait? Kill him. The war has been won. The rebels' arms have been crushed by our brave loyalists. High Septon, one of the traitors, has been brought before you to hear judgment. Bring me his head. Uh, okay. Um, how did he die? It, it doesn't really... Oh, um... Probably should request a coronation. We will once we've ended the wars. What's wrong with Cersei's face? Oh, she has something... It looked like she had something on her face. Why does she have negative war... Oh, she's, she, ah, she controls all her holdings. Hmm, I'm not sure if the Reach is really, really with us anymore. I don't think they are. No, they're not. Hmm, we'll have to see. Ah, right, we gotta burn him. Ah, change of sacrifices by three. Excellent. Ah, burning the High Septon. That'll teach him. All right. And I'm actually going to change my priest out, Melisandre. No, I'm not going to change her out. I'm going to have her proselytize in King's Landing. I want her to convert the people to the Red Faith. To the Red Faith at once. All right, and we have to keep our eyes open because Aegon and his uh, Dornish allies are somewhere. 
who's more of a threat? I think Cersei might actually be more of a threat because she's going to be winning shit over time. All right. Combine the armies here. We've got Stannis, we've got Mance Raider, and we need Victarion Greyjoy here. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, uh, they've got some more men coming in, and you guys go to Stokeworth first. They have more men, and it's Aegon. I can only hope that we're able to, um, it'd be awesome if the army of Lord Vortimer came here and supported us. I can only hope that Stannis or Victarion can kill uh, Aegon in single combat. Aegon, how good are you at fighting? You're a trained fighter, you're quick, and you're brave. So he's 70. Stannis has 65 because he's got the fucking flu. Otherwise, he would be at, what, 85? Trained fighter, light bringer, chosen by Rulor, ruthless. But he has the flu. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking he should sit this one out because he could easily die. He could easily die. But at the same time, it's like, uh So Aegon does beat him by five, but isn't Stannis a skilled fighter? No, he's also trained. Shit. Um, let's pick some bodyguards. Let's get some really good bodyguards. King's Justice can be you. High Almoner can be you. Master of the Hunt can be you. Master of the Horse can be you. Keeper of Swans. Lester. Court Jester can be the High Septon. Brilliant. Commander of the Gold Cloaks. Apparently, this is the only guy I can choose. And Celise Florent, my old... Wait a minute. That was the old wife. I still have my old wife as the regent. That's really, really bad. Not a good idea. Godry the Giant Slayer, Melisandre. Let's have Melisandre be the regent. And I think if Stannis dies anyways, he'll just get resurrected. I think. I'm hoping, kind of. And my allies are just fucking off. They're just... They're, they're getting out of there. Just, oh, god damn it. Well, I mean, at least one of their flanks are is completely un, un, uh, unsupported. But they do have 600 more men than we do. And they are winning. Uh, Marcella Waters is currently in my captivity. Let her rot. And Mance Raider has completely broken. Sir John Connington has broken Mance Raider, the fucking god... The goddamn wildling. Help me, Victorian! Help me! Stop pursuing, you son of a bitch! He's still pursuing. And we've broken because they were supported by the Dornish. For a second there, I thought that was the Red Viper. <laughs> it's gonna freak the fuck out. Like, oh, it's the Red Viper. Um, let's see. Sir Osmond Kettleback... 65. Mance Raider. Mance, Mance, you really, really, really failed. Oh, well, I mean, I have a son in in the dungeon. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, well, Mance Raider, you collapsed in the battle, and you lost us the... you lost us that fight, so maybe you should be the one to handle this guy. Alright. Not that it fucking matters, because we're still gonna lose this battle anyways. And that was most of our men, too. Your Grace, um... Let's see. Send the family into hiding. Take, I, I'll take my family and hide until it's safe. No, no, no. Take my family into hiding. I'm going to continue fighting. And they're going to pursue because that's fucking smart. The enemy is smart, but my allies are not. My allies are not smart. They're dogpiling the west, but they're not helping me against Aegon. Which means their king will lose. Yes, yes. Yep, nope, you're not going to let it end. All right. Oh, now my fucking allies want to join me. The alliance between King Stannis and Lord Robert has broken down. That's cute. Right. Where's Mance Raider? I'm going to have him burned alive for his failure. His failure. You have failed. I will relieve you from command because you're no longer worthy. Maybe I should kill your son. No? I am thinking about it. I'm not going to have you be the ward of my... Oops, didn't mean to fly up there. We're not going to have you be the ward, because you have failed. Assigned Guardian will be someone else. Someone else who's good at fighting. You know, we're pretty decent at fighting, I guess. Maybe? I'm not sure. Try and heal your injury and diseases. Ah, oh, yes, I could do that, couldn't I? We might have to do that. Right, so they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna move on King's Landing, and um, we're going to have a hard time stopping them. Because the fucking Dornish are here too. And my bloody allies aren't helping me. <laughs> They're not helping me. They're abandoning me. They've abandoned their king. Let's see. We've got Victarion. Navo, who's, sh who's shit. Um, hmm. Need a new commander. Not Mance. Lester. I mean, I like House Morgan, but Lester, you're just not that great. You're not that great in war. 
All right, we'll refresh this. Hmm. Do we have anybody who's good at flanking? No. But we will we will take Tycho. We will take Tycho. Um, I'm not really sure what we can do with this army here. If we move away, we'll be safe. But they're going to take King's Landing. But my family's in hiding, but they're going to take King's Landing. And that might be enough. Might be enough. Battle of the Dragon Gate. Yeah, that was pretty... That was pretty terrible. Um, I overestimated our abilities. I really thought we were going to duel Aegon, but we didn't get that. Instead, we got uh, dogpiled, and I've got no allies here. Um, I'm going to need allies, but it might be too fucking late for that. The Reach. The Reach, the Reach, the Reach. Ask the Ransom Prisoner. No, I don't think there's anyone here in, in uh, let's see, 2,000 men. Are there people across the narrow sea? See that Pentos has fifteen thousand men. Mir is in hiding, so we can't get an alliance with them. Tyrosh has got sixteen thousand men. Lise has got nine thousand men. What we might have to do? Sh I didn't promise you to anybody, have I, Shireen? No. What we probably can do is let's see. You can do arrange a betrothal. You're of House Zokan. Of course you are. Arrange betrothal between. Uh. Oh, shit, I can't. I cannot arrange a betrothal between my children that are in hiding. Mm, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh-oh, this is bad. Well, I mean, if King's Landing is open from, let's see, Brosby. So we can cross the river to Bramsfort. That way, if they come for us, they'll have to cross the river, too. But if we attack here, the Dorans are just going to support them, which is super, super smart. Super smart. Um, let's change you for Tycho, and we will get Tycho here. Where, where is Tycho? Oh, he's down here. He's down here's away. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and I only have 4,000 men of my own. And a lot of them won't even fight the enemy. That's the thing, is a lot of these guys won't even assist. See, a lot of people are united against Cersei. Not many people are united against uh, Aegon. I think they want to see us crush Cersei, but they want to see us lose to Aegon, which is not good. And I can't arrange uh, an alliance with any uh, anybody over in the east. I don't know what to do. They're going to take King's Landing, and we might actually lose. If we lose, it gains seven kingdoms, will henceforth be acknowledged as a two-born son and heir of Rhaegar Targaryen. That's not good. I mean, really, the only hope I see that we have now... Where the fuck is Victarion? And Victarion just left. Where did Victarion go? Oh, he's now... I. God damn it. He's now the... Ally with us, you fool. Let's see. Arrange marriage. We've got nobody. There's nobody we can arrange a marriage with. Or a betrothal. Oh, Stannis. You have nobody. There is nobody. Damn it. I would love to get the uh, Ironborn with us, but um, yeah, that's not going to work. I mean, really, at this point, the only thing we can do... Yeah, Mance is going to lose his fucking f his flank again. Is try to attack and maybe assassinate Aegon in a duel? Because if we kill him, then his claim and his war ends. But I don't think the game's going to let us do that. And if we do attack, we might only have 4,000. Our allies might not even join us. This could be bad. This could be fucking bad. I mean, we could, well, yeah, we're at 100% morale. If we attack, maybe maybe we can kill Aegon. See, now they're going to fucking King's Landing too. Yeah. That's not good. That's really, really bad. And attrition's not going to be enough to stop them. So let's pull back. And they're going to keep sieging King's Landing too. Uh, my allies. Uh, your grace, I would surely deserve some recognition and rewards from time to time. As well, I know that you hold huge lands. Uh, this greed does not become you, of course. The high lordship. No, no, no. Screw you, man. I'm about to lose my kingship because my allies won't do. They won't help me. Yeah, at 78. That's dangerous because they can begin to enforce their demands. Hmm. We might just have to attack and hope to kill Aegon in a, in a... Yeah, see? Well, it's only 86. I don't think he can enforce his demands, and we could maybe sneak around and retake King's Landing. Maybe. 
and pray for some kind of bloody miracle to happen. Because no one is going to betray... Uh, no one's going to betray King Aegon, and I can't seem to be able to repay loan. Well, well, suppose a wildfire, we don't have any of that. Although you think that it, you, you'd think that they would have used the wildfire in the siege of King's Landing, but they chose not to. They chose not to, because that's just that's just the way that's the way the game wants to work. Your Grace, we found everybody we couldn't find in the Red Keep. What should we do with them? Liberated. All right, um, Lord Titos of Hornfield has joined King Aegon. Oh, great! And Sir Donald of the Bloody Gate has joined King Aegon. Cute. Retake King's Landing, quickly. Liberated, <laughs> whatever that means. Okay, we have retaken King's Landing. This is gonna be, this is gonna be, uh, <laughs> I mean, the good, we're, we're winning against the Westerlands. We're not even fighting against them, but we're winning. It's pretty much just all my allies are uh, going against Cersei Lannister, but um, we are dreadfully, dreadfully outnumbered. 3,000 men. Ooh. Oh, boy. Get them on the ships. Get them on the ships. Quickly. They're going for Stokeworth. I'm not sure why they're so crazy about Stokeworth. An outbreak of disease is in the camps. I don't think this will be enough to really shore up the defenses for us. I know it looks like we've got a lot of men, but we really don't. I don't think these allies in this army will actually fight Aegon and uh, his Dornish, Dornish brethren. But I, I unfortunately have to end the episode right here. We're kind of in a standoff now. King Stannis is in a very bad way. Um, he uh, lost his first battle against Aegon because Mance Raider was an untrustworthy commander, which thankfully he's no longer a part of the army here. And I think when the actual battle begins, our allies will be leading their forces. But And we were able to retake King's Landing, but that was because Aegon and his Dornish allies are being kind of lazy. And I'm sure they know they can just come back at any moment. But it's kind of a standoff now, and they have us beat in numbers Maybe by a lot, because I don't know if our allies again will aid us in the battle against Aegon and his Dornish fiendish allies, but all that will have to take place in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. This has been Crusader Kings 2, Stannis the Manus. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion, and until next time, I will see you all later.